Capstone. Welcome to the final unit where you'll put everything together to build your own generative 3D demo. Here's how it'll work. Step one, host your own model. This can be something you built yourself or copied from an open source model. Just make sure it has a model card with the image to 3D pipeline tag. Step two, host your own space. It should convert images to either meshes or splats and have a readme with a link to your model. Step three, fill out this form with a link to your model and space. Then after manual verification, you'll receive a certificate. If you aren't sure how to get started, I'll walk you step by step through how to set up an LGM based demo. Step one, go to the Hugging Face repo duplicator. Step two, generate a write token in your account settings. Copy it into the token field. Then in the source repo field, enter this. Then in the destination repo field, enter your username slash whatever name you want, like LGM. Click submit. You should see a link in the top right. Find your repo here. That's it for the model. Now for the space. Go to the LGM tiny space. Click duplicate space. Choose free hardware. Then click on files. App.py. Then edit. Replace these two model paths with your model path. Click commit changes. That's it. But wait, it doesn't actually run. That's because it requires a GPU. You have a few options. Option one, run it in the notebook. Link in description. Option two, run locally. This will require a decent GPU. Instructions in the notebook. Option three, if you're building something cool, apply for a community GPU grant in your space settings. Option four, run via API. This gives you no control over the model, but if you want to focus on UI UX and downstream applications, this is a good option. Instructions in the notebook. Now what? Congratulations. You've completed the ML for 3D course. This has been a high level overview of what's going on at the intersection of machine learning and 3D. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these topics, I recommend going straight to the source of open source projects like Instant Mesh. This is all moving very fast, so for now, that's pretty much your only option. But stay tuned for more information, and thank you for participating in the ML for 3D course.